How's it doing, everyone? Shane here. And it is the 16th of September. And uh, kind of wanted to run. A, I don't know how many viewers I really get, but a few who do watch. Uh, basically, what I want to run by everyone is that I have a good sized camera collection. Some of them I have used, some of them I haven't yet. Some of them are practically new because I just got them within the last month or two. Uh, I haven't got all the film types for them. I've, I've ran film through quite a few of them. I do have some examples of the ones that were s developed. Some of them haven't been developed yet. Mm -hmm. Hoping in the near future to develop them. Uh, that uh, we can see some results. And probably I'll remember which camera I shot them because some of these roles have been sitting around for a few months. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, after I'm talking here, uh, I'm gonna, I already shot some B-roll of uh, just a few cameras. I don't pull them, I didn't pull them out. I have some laying around behind me, as you can probably see, a lot of them are Polaroids. Uh, and I was thinking, um, maybe I'll let you guys kind of uh, at, tell me what cameras you, uh, you kind of want me to review. Uh, again, I haven't got results from all of them, and I haven't been able to test all of them to the fullest. Sorry about that yellow light. That's uh, an old light I have here. It's one of the main lights in my room because it's really dark. But uh, yeah, like such so, such as uh, I'm gonna put. You see the B roll soon, but I will also put on the in the description a list of the cameras I have. And uh, what I can do is I'll just like pick them up as often as I can, and I'll just do quick little over reviews and reviews and some of the history on these cameras because can that's kind of what this channel is now doing is I'm mainly focusing on photography right now, and uh, I still do design work like I said in my update video a couple of days ago, but again things such as cameras and all that fun stuff, you know I'm seeing that uh, I'm filming this with my uh. uh phone right now so everything's for me is reverse on the screen because I'm using the selfie camera uh, so I don't know if that's going to be reversed but when I do use something I'm going to try and figure out the camera situation first because like I said the Aviro is still not wanting to give me files I have to format that I'm going to probably lose the uh, two or three episodes of camera views and things I have on that camcorder unfortunately but you know rather redo things uh, and do them better than I did in the past than not do anything at all so uh, so I do think that uh, I there are some of these cameras that they do have film uh, out there for for them still at the moment but they're kind of pricey, so I'm kind of avoiding getting them until I have more income. I do have a job, but I just started this week, so uh, and I haven't had a, a proper job in over three years, mainly because I was a student and also because where I live, it's not heavily like open to hiring younger people. And it's more rural kind of stuff. I I did do things on the side to make money, but. You know, you can only do make so much on the side in, in California and do so much with it. So, such as like uh, this is one of my Polaroids. It's a Land Model 103. I know, and I don't know if it's going to say 301 backwards or not in the video because I haven't really seen it yet. But uh, like this one uses a uh, Fuji, you know, FB film, pillow parts. It's out there, but it's really pricey getting even a single box of it. So, pack film is kind of out of this question for right now. Impossible does have uh, some film, and you know, I use, I've shot on my Sun 660, so I can show you examples from that. Uh, some things like uh, my. This thing's really heavy, so it's really awkward to pick up by itself. I uh, like this one's my J66. Uh, they don't make uh, this type of film. They haven't for many. They've actually stopped making this way before I was even born. 
So, uh, I've seen some of the film for stuff like this on eBay, but I don't know how it was taken care of. I don't know how it was stored or anything, so I don't know if I could ever get any results from it because instant film, how, you know, they develop, they have the chemicals in them and all that kind of stuff, and after so many decades, it's probably dried up. So, I don't want to spend money on film, even a vintage film, uh, that I can't use because I will shoot vintage film if it, I think it's still shootable. I I like collecting the cool look of films, but at the same time, I don't I don't like to sit it sit around. That's just my personal thing. If you collect vintage film, that's cool. I know quite a few YouTubers who do collect vintage film, and that's, I think it's cool. But I like to I I want to shoot on it. I I don't want to just sit around. I'll probably like take the film out after shooting and take the paper backing and like save the paper backing like uh. What's this? Oh, yeah, here's some. Good, here's a good example. This is some uh, beer chrome I got out of a camera. It was already shot. It was at the last exposure, and I just started uh, winding it up so I could. Uh, uh, it's a mystery. It's found film. I don't know what's on it. Haven't developed it. I also has some Kodak color that I found in uh, one of my Kodak cameras. That uh, it's a six six twenty film. I uh, haven't developed it, haven't seen it out. I don't have the capability of developing myself. I have developed a little bit, I've never been that camera up a bit, at a friend's house and I only, I developed some 120 film. It was pretty good, but uh, as for color capability, I don't have anything for developing color myself. And me personally at my house, I do not have uh, any tanks. I have reels, I don't have tanks. I don't have all the chemicals. Some of the chemicals, not all of them. I have paper. I have an enlarger. Doesn't it needs a bulb? Uh, so it's it's like I think I mentioned before. It's a lot of piece work in order for me to uh, do more stuff for the channel at my own time, which I only have the weekends off now. Which it is what it is. But I I, may, I am working, and uh, a lot of the money I am making from my job is paying off some overhead debt that I've been in for a couple of years. So. I can't go out and just spend it on this. I I want at some point to be able to uh, kind of make a job at using vintage cameras to do photo shoots and photography. But for for the time being, uh, I just use them. I kind of collect them, you know, fix them up, make them work as well as I can, unless they're not fitsable. Because I have gone a few cameras over in my bin over here. Don't think you can see it, but. It's been right here. You see my hand? Yeah. It's been yeah, there it is. It's been right here. It has several broken cameras that some of them were working while job. I just they either broke because I dropped them or actually no, I didn't drop any of those ones. The ones I dropped actually still work. And that was on accident. I don't I try to handle all, all my photographic equipment with as much care, especially my vintage cameras because they're a little older and you don't know if uh you know, they're, they're, they're built a little tougher than newer cameras. Some of them, not all of them. Some are still plaster or Bakelite. But I try and handle them as best as I can. If I drop them, hopefully it doesn't screw up uh, as much. And the ones that are broken, either I got them where the battery compartments were corroded, uh, the springs were about to go and they went, or I tried to modify... One of them I did try to modify. It was a 620 camera, and I wanted to modify it to take 120 so I can use it. Uh, the wine broke, and it's a Bakelite uh, it's a pseudo twin lens reflex camera from an obscure camera company, so there's no parts, there's really nothing on it, so it's like, eh, whatever. It's a, yeah, that one's a loss, but it was cool. I might be able to make something out of it or repair it in some degree at some point whenever I have the time or the know-how to make the part for it, but... For the time being, uh, if some over there that are broken. Some of them I'm never going to repair because they're just, the electronics in them are shot. Uh, I'm keeping them kind of for the elements, even if some of them are plastic. Uh, I, I keep a lot of elements and strange things, like uh, this right here. This is a this is a macro lens that I, it's a hair in there, that I made myself. And it's out of a icy freeze pack and I cut the tip off and uh, I had a jeweler's lens that the body on it the spring everything broke and it was useless I had these two glass meniscus lenses laying around I was like hey 
But if I just pop that into one of those things, what if I can make it a lens? And it's actually I made this for this camera because this is a Motorola, so it has the circle camera thing. I have a case that kind of allows me to stick this on there, and just uh, yeah, it works pretty damn well actually. If, uh, it has a little bit of vignette on the sides, but it's it's cool. It, I've done some pretty cool photography with this camera. It's really nice. I don't knock digital cameras. I own two really older digital cameras. Uh, I still haven't got went out and got a professional DSLR or mirrorless camera. I want to because I because I want to be able to do digital and film. I love film myself. I love analog so much, but I'm also willing to. Uh, take the plunge a little bit and get a decent digital camera so I can do more professional shoots when I'm out and doing stuff. That, it might be a year away, I'm not gonna lie, this can't, this this channel is gonna be very, very slow, it's gonna be over a year or two of build up until I'm at a level where I'm able to really do things, so. Again, I'm going to put the list of all my cameras down there. Uh, some of them I've shot on, some of them I haven't, some of them I can't find film for, some of them the film I don't think exists, or the ones that do exist I don't think uh, it's possible to shoot with. But you never know. Uh, I don't think I have, I don't have really a lot of subscribers. I know there's a few of you guys who do, and I appreciate the you guys who do. Uh, bear in mind that, you know, it does. Uh, Take me a long time to get things organized, or the time to make a video, and uh, my editing software. Again, I'm trying. I'm gonna probably use uh, YouTube Editor for this video, and it's kind of bad because it's like, oh yeah, YouTube Editor is going away very soon, and I'm like, wow, I just started and I don't have any other editing software. That sucks. It is what it is. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how the how the journey continues, which is what it is. It's a journey. And I'm happy to have a journey to go on. So, uh, it's like 4 in the morning, by the way. So, it's dark out. Uh, I got home from work about 3 hours ago. I work a second shift at a company doing stuff. Don't have a sign of dreams that you can't really talk about work. It's editing photos. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave uh do the B roll after I'm done uh, it's already twelve minutes, so sorry this is a little long, but B roll after this and I'm gonna put Yeah, I'll put a list of all the cameras I have in the dish the ones that work. Doesn't mean it also that also doesn't mean that I've shot in all of them or I had the film for all of them or I've developed film from all of them. A lot of them I have, but Especially the 35 millimeter and some of the uh, 120s and, and uh, 620 cameras. Other in uh, my one, I've only actually shot on one of my Polaroids, uh, the Sun 660. It's just uh, $23 a pack of great shots is kind of stretching it. I'm willing to buy it, but uh, I heard that uh, Impossible is bringing down the price on the film soon because I don't know why. Might have something to do with you know Polaroid original being now a thing, because the family that owns Impossible also owns most of Polaroid now. So, you know, the news dropped uh, a few days ago that uh, the One Step Two is coming out. I might buy that. That would be the first new camera I would ever buy. But I'm on the fence because again, it, money's still tight for me. So, um. Yeah, that's just a, not really, it's not, this is an update, this is just me informing you guys of uh, what I want to do, and see if you're, any of you guys who do watch my videos, I know it's not a lot of you, it's actually less than 10, but I, I like that, if you follow me, I, I'm very appreciative of that, and uh, I'm, you're always welcome to have people uh, come along if you watch my videos and join me, uh, there's that, on this uh, journey that I'm taking, it's, Really, uh, photography actually, is, I think, has changed my life in the last several months because I picked up photography only in January after never touching it since high school. It's going to be exciting. Alright, so next is just kind of panning over some of my uh, cameras. And sorry for if uh, you see how messy my room is. I don't 
I sleep, I wake up, go to work, come home, you know, hang out a little bit, then go to bed, then repeat the process. I'm not organized well, but it's my mess, and I know where my mess lies. Anyway, so, yeah, now the B-roll. Some editing here. Maybe, probably not. That's now an awkward situation. Yeah, I'm just rolling the B-roll.